Hey YouTube, I am making the bubble up Swedish meatball casserole from the Emily Bites website. Um, the information for her website will be in the description bar. These are the ingredients that are needed and I will show you quickly. You need one pound and this is like 1.33 pounds. It was a, a multi-pack from BJ's but you need one pound of ground turkey you need one large egg and one egg white you need um, sliced white mushrooms a can of cream of mushroom soup 98% fat free um, grated parmesan cheese garlic powder extra virgin well olive oil extra yes I just happen to have extra virgin you need parsley flakes unseasoned breadcrumbs you need a jar of beef gravy my things are not focusing but this is the Heinz savory beef gravy um, a 7.5 ounce can of biscuits just the regular biscuits not the grands and they said you need a small onion diced up this is a medium one so I'll probably use half of it so the first thing I'm going to do is to preheat my oven to 350 and I'm going to spray my pan which I have like a 9 by 13 baking pan that I'm going to just spray with some olive oil cooking spray that I have and I will be right back I forgot one ingredient and it says that you need some skim milk you need three tablespoons of skim milk. I happen to have opened some 2% milk, so that is what I am going to use. All right, so I have a bowl, large bowl here with my ground turkey in it, and then I am mixing in with that three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese and my oven is heated I need the breadcrumbs I need a third of a cup of unseasoned breadcrumbs so these are my breadcrumbs and we have a third of a cup. I need a teaspoon of parsley. And this is my parsley. So a teaspoon of parsley and a half of a teaspoon of the garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I need three tablespoons of milk. Oh, so let's see how this goes. tablespoons of milk and then I need the one whole egg and then the one egg white 
so we will do this this way we'll put the whole egg in first and then we'll do the egg white And we are going to mix all of this together with my hands, which may be my favorite part. We are just going to mix all of the ingredients together. And I will be back once it is fully mixed. Okay, so I have my meatball mixture mixed together and I am going to roll them into little mini meatballs. I put a tablespoon and a half of olive oil in my pan and we are just going to make little mini meatballs. Let's put this down on maybe simmer. So now that my meatballs or my not so many meatballs are done, I am just sauteing the mushrooms and the onions in the same pot. And I am um I added a teaspoon of olive oil to do that. So we are just gonna let this simmer for about five minutes or so until everything is soft. And we will be back. And I wanted to show you that now that my meatballs are browned, I have added those to the casserole dish. Once the mushrooms and the onions are ready, I'm going to add those on top of the meatballs. All right, so what I wanted to show you while my um, mushrooms and onions are sauteing, which they are almost done, I am going to mix together the cream of mushroom soup in a bowl. And I'm going to use the same spoon that I used for my mushrooms and onions to get this out of here. Okay, so that is the cream of mushroom soup. And I am making a mess. And I am going to mix the, I have the Heinz savory beef gravy. I'm going to mix these two together. I don't quite use that whole jar. And we'll just mix these two together in the bowl. So this is going to go on top of the mushrooms and onions. All right, so my mushrooms, and that's the mistake that I made. I dropped the top, but my mushrooms and my onions are done. So I am going to take them over to the casserole dish here and just sort of layer that. Let me turn that stove off. So that is my mushrooms, my onions, and my meatballs. And the next thing that I am going to do here is to put that mixture of 
the mushroom soup and the gravy over top of that. It's hard to believe this is sort of point friendly, but it is. Um, then once I pour that over top, I am just going to use a spoon and mix everything together. And then I am going to add the pieces of biscuit dough and stir to coat. So, first let's just pour this in. And we'll just mix all of this just all together here. Like I am not a cook cook and I am going by a recipe, but this looks pretty good and I'm sure my husband is going to like it. My son does not eat meat unfortunately so he is going to mix miss out so let me get my biscuit dough ready all right so i am going to do what i call a cheat on my biscuit dough well not really this is two i am going to use my kitchen scissors and cut these into four so you are supposed to quarter them and we'll just drop them in And I'll get back to you once that's done. All right, so that is the casserole with the biscuit dough mixed in it. It is going to go into the oven on 350 for the next 25 minutes. And then I will let you see it. Afterwards, I forgot to um, include that you do need some mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese is just going to be sprinkled on top of it once it comes out of the oven. And then I will show you the finished product. All right, so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Pretty much the finished pro product. So what I am going to do now is just take three ounces of provolone, I mean mozzarella cheese, and put it on the top of it. And I am just going to sprinkle it as evenly as I can on the top. And that is that. I'll let that sort of sit and cool off and that cheese melts and I am starving so I am ready to eat. Thank you all so much for watching this video. My first time doing a cooking video on YouTube. Have a great day. Bye.